Hey guys, Will Bates from Humbird here. I'm really excited to show you guys something we've been hard at work on. Latest and forward facing sonar technology, Mega Life 2. <laughs> Mega Life 2 brings next gen clarity and bait tracking and a bunch of other enhancements, and I'm excited to walk you guys through them. Something you're gonna notice immediately is we've greatly increased the clarity. So, I mean, the screen's clean, but you're still able to see your jig, you're still able to see the fish. Very good target separation, and you can see individual fish popping out. They don't blob all together. And the ability to track your lure on the screen is just so much better. The range in which you can track it, you know, jig head minnow, you can track out to 80, 90, 100 feet very easily. Out here, the fish are getting really spooky, so you wanna make sure that you're able to cast at them from a far distance, so you need to be able to see your bait from a long ways away, and so that's something Mega Live 2 excels at. I can see farther than I can throw now. You can see my bait hit the water, See now they're just falling underneath it. There you go. So I saw that fish following the bait, and I just stopped it and let it sink down a little bit. Pretty fat Lake Lanier spotted bass. Look how chunky and beautiful those fish are. Something else you're gonna notice immediately is when you're fishing brush piles or fishing some cover and you're looking at your cover and structure, you're gonna see the fish even on the cover pop out and they're a little bit brighter and everything else and you're able to see them swimming down there on it. So another thing we made super easy on Mega Life 2 to see is the bait splash. You're gonna notice that pops a lot. It's super important to see that because once you see that, you know that's your lure and you're able to immediately start tracking that. Sometimes you make a bad cast and you don't want the fish to react to it, right? You wanna pull it away from them before they're able to swim off their piece of cover and mess them up. So something else cool that we have for Mega Live 2 is we've totally redone our color palettes. We have 15 new palettes. Everyone has their preferences. So some of the palettes are good for you know tracking bait. Some of them are good for seeing structure. Some of them are good balances of both. A lot of it's kind of your personal choice. I know personally I like Doppler, Parrot, and the Alabama Amber it comes with. I'm sure you guys will find the ones you like too. So one thing you're gonna notice about Mega Live 2 is that it's physically different than Mega Live 1. This is because we've done a lot of hardware upgrades to the system. We have a new acoustic array. This is gonna increase our ability to reject noise and have better signal strength. We also have a brand new PCB and all the internal electronics. And then finally, we've totally revamped our manufacturing process. So you're gonna get good consistent results on every single transducer. So something else we've done is we've redesigned the transducer mount on that goes on the trolling motor shaft. This mount now is going to be positively locking in both directions. So what that's going to do is that's going to prevent the transducer mount from sagging at all. It's going to give you a good stable image. The other thing is, instead of 10 degree increments when you rotate it, it'll be seven and a half degree increments. And what that's going to do is that's going to let you be able to really dial in what angle your transducers at to get the best performance for your lake. So while you're able to fine tune your transducer with those seven and a half degree clicks, we also make it easy to find your starting point with annotations on the mount that show you your forward mode, your down mode, and your landscape mode. We also wanna show you guys a couple of the user interface enhancements we've made. It makes it super quick and super easy to use on the water. The thing you'll notice on the new UI is you can see we have our in-pane touch targets here. So right here, I can quickly adjust my sensitivity, turn it up real hot, turn it back down. I can change the range real easily, and I can also change the vertical range. To get into more detailed settings, all you gotta do is press the menu button. Again, you can change your sensitivity and contrast here. You go to your color palettes. You can change how deep your install depth is. This is gonna allow you to offset your transducer a little bit so you know exactly how deep you're fishing. We've set up our default so it works great right out of the box, but if you need to change a few things, right here is where you're gonna use most of your setting changes. So Mega Live 2 is broad compatibility with a lot of Humbird units. It'll work with all the Explorer Series units, all the Apex Series units, and the Solix Gen 3 Series units. 
We're super excited about this product. I hope you guys have as much fun using it and, you know, as we've had working on it, we think it's a really awesome product. And if you need any more information about this, you can find it at humbird.com.